feel like he's about to destroy it. Oh, but they're ready to go. Oh, they're ready. Ooh. And that's what they do. All right, guys, this is my new cat, Bagel. I just got him like maybe a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. He's already grown so much. Hey, back up. I've already grown so much with him. He sleeps with me every night, and he's honestly not that much of a hassle. Clean the litter box, feed him every day. It's really easy. But I already fed him, so he's not going to be in the feeding video today. But let's get into the rest of the feedings. Welcome to my animal room, guys. For all of you who don't know who I am, I'm Ethan Godoy. This is my animal room. And today we're going to be doing some feedings. We're not feeding everything in here. They're feeding some snakes, some fish, not the turtle. We're feeding my bearded dragon and both of the crested geckos. I'm going to show you all how I feed everything. But first, to get into it, we're going to start with the fish. We're going to get the quickest things out of the way. So right here I have some big worms, small worms. We're going to start with my big tank, my 75-gallon tank. This is also, once again, guys, this is just a like a normal like grow out tank so i know it's small for them right now and all of this that you see at the bottom this is just dirt because i feed them worms and they have dirt on them sometimes but they're ready to go oh they're ready oh bluegill got it so they both got one big worm but i think i'll feed them one more i'll give the bass one more and by the way i usually feed them fish also but I get that like once every two weeks and I feed them worms most of the time. All right, and this tank over here, we have my bluegill and some other like small pan fish. We have a, a green sunfish and a warm mouth, but they all stay hungry 24 seven. Some of them eat from my hand and some of them just refuse, but hopefully I can get them to eat from my hand. That bluegill is crazy. He eats anything that he absolutely can. I had to cut up another worm because that stupid bluegill is eating everything. I want to get to see if my... There he goes. He'll get it. I'm trying to see if the warm mouth will eat. There he goes. The, the green sunfish doesn't always eat. He eats sometimes. It just depends. And right now, I have two little baby bass, and they're up next. I had those green sunfish in there previously, but I ended up taking them back to the lake. So right now, I'll probably just cut this one in half. Sometimes they eat, and sometimes I just leave it in there overnight, and they just and they'll eat it while I'm while I'm gone. So. They don't always eat. Let's see if they give us a little show. See, right now they might not be really hungry. They might not be very hungry. See, there's still a worm in there from yesterday. There was three in there, but they didn't eat that one. And the other bass is up here. They're both doing good. I just saw them swimming around. All right, so my bearded dragon, all I feed her is zucchini, maybe sometimes carrots, and the occasional crickets. But for now, I just feed her zucchini because she's about that age where she eats a lot of leafy greens and stuff. But this is mainly all I feed her. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally just chopping it up as finely as I can just to make sure I know she's not choking. Sometimes I take her out, sometimes I don't. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get, and get her bowl. She knows when it's time to eat because she gets, she gets anxious. All right. All right. Little bit of dirt from the worms, but that ain't ever gonna hurt nobody. Come on, come on, Jeremy, come on. I don't think she can see it. There she goes. Yeah. Eating good. 
I went ahead and waited to feed all of them at night because the snakes eat better at nighttime. That's when they're more active. But yeah, she's eating good. Now, this is the more boring part, but for the crusty geckos, I just get one of these little cups. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah. I feed them, I feed my crusty geckos rapashi. I just, I, I just eyeball everything. Like, so when I'm doing this, I probably just like to fill up the bottom. Like, yeah, it's about the bottom. I like to just fill up the bottom. And I don't feed them every day because they're, they're almost full grown. So, well, one of them is full grown and the other one's like a juvenile. So I feed, I feed like, I feed them every two days, just about. The younger one eats more. The older one eats like every two to three days. But I'm gonna go ahead. It's just paste. So you just get the powder, water, and then you just mix it up. This is the boring part. I can't wait to get to the snakes. That's going to be the best part. So I saw this somewhere on YouTube, and what I really like to do for the juvenile Christy Gecko is I'll get literally just a little bottle cap, and I'll fill it up to the brim with some paste. And then once I fill it with paste, I go ahead and I just put it in there. Oh, he's right here. Let me see if I can get him up for you guys. They grow so fast. Sorry for the dirty hands. I was messing with the worms. But yeah, they're freaking beautiful. But yeah, as soon as I put him in there, he's going to be eating good. And soon he's going to be getting a new enclosure just like, just like his sister up here. Uh, okay, okay. Now that I'm pretty sure her name is Benita now because... I found out that it's a girl, and it's not a boy, but yeah, let me get her food ready. I like to put it all in the side because I feel like if it's not in the, if, it, if it's just in the middle, I feel like she doesn't get to eat most of it, so put that about like right there at the end, and this is all she eats, and before I go to bed, I'll probably spray their tank once or twice, but yeah. Lizards are fed, time for the snakes. All right, so this is one rat from my snake, Boa. My bad, Bo, my bad, Bo. Let's see this. I feel like he's better destroy it. Ooh. See, I, I don't really like using tongs. I'm more of that freehand kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I also am not a scaredy cat. Yeah, he's just gonna devour that, like completely destroy that as the as the night goes on. It'll probably take him like 20 minutes to eat that. So yeah. Time for the next snake. For for you guys that don't know, this is our normal ball python phoenix. And she eats she eats small size rats. So not too too crazy, but I'd say Okay, so she's in here. I'd say she's like a, a good juvenile size. She's definitely not an adult. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it around for them, make it think it's alive. There she goes. Isn't that just crazy? Majestic almost. I love seeing the baby Z. This is the big finale. This is my girl Ruka. She is my four and a half foot red tail boa constrictor. And usually when she eats, she destroys her meal. Like she, they're not live, but she, if it was alive, she would knock it unconscious by how hard she hits these. So let me go ahead and go get her rat, and let's see how bad she destroys this. I'm expecting a show out of you, girl. Let's see it. Oh, 
Oh, she looks interested. If I'm being realistic with you guys, this is a little bit too small for her. It's a medium sized rat. She usually eats like large, even sometimes bigger than large rats. But at the pet store, this is all I could find at the moment was a medium sized rat and she has to eat. So I went ahead and just got her a medium. Actually, I'll leave this here. For the big dogs to eat. They starve. The goal here is to end up with like six eggs a day. I just got these because they're cute. My baby's over there. Three California tans, three Isa Browns. And I plan on getting six eggs every day. And the other two over here, they're just for fun. They're just for, hey. We had names for all these guys, but I honestly forgot. Go right to the water as soon as I leave. I gotta work on that. I had to get them used to they pop up. This is one of our absolutely beautiful California tan chickens. Ah, calm down, calm down. She's gonna lay some eggs for us, plenty. I'd say hundreds a year. That's what I'm expecting at least. They're this close to laying eggs. They're just pushing four months. And that is our goal with all of our chickens. <whistles> Gotta give them some water, you know what I'm saying? This is the only reason I don't like having chickens. It's because you gotta constantly clean out their water bowl. It sucks. Look at all this poopy. <laughs> Disgusting. Alright guys, I have some bad news that I have to break to you guys. So, as y'all know, I did have two bass in here and I was asking y'all what were some names that y'all wanted to see of my new two pet bass. But sadly, as things go, I had an infection that ran through my tank and it, it took out one of my bass. And I mean, I, I caught both of them. So sadly, one of them died in the process. I was like constantly treating the tank, constantly trying to check on them, make sure they were doing good. But one of them sadly passed. So I ended up naming this one Balboa the Bass. And this is Big Fella the Bluegill. So Balboa the Bass, Big Fella the Bluegill. And also we have one more tragedy that hurts me to say, but we did have a really big goldfish down here that I had for about a year and a half. And I got it at the fair a couple years back. And sadly he left us as well. I have no idea why. I, I like all these fish in here are doing great. I don't know if it was the water quality. I don't know if overfeeding or I don't even know if that's a thing for goldfish but all I know is sadly he died but on a better note I hope y'all like the video hope y'all like my animal room hope y'all like to see everybody eating good I want y'all to go down and I want y'all to like I want y'all to comment and I want y'all to subscribe make sure y'all comment a bunch of new ideas that y'all want to see me do any new animals that y'all want to see me get let me know I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>